Welcome to another episode of The Adventures of Danny and Mike, wherein the fellas discuss team handball, CPAP bidets, and biking in Kabul, with our special guest, J.P. Patterson. Now play the music, Wendy. Cover up on your Mets hat there, Dan. I know it's kind of weak. Kind of a weak compromise. Why? So I have this this new Mets hat I got, and it's got like a big like eagle on it, and it says "Land of the Free, says, Home of the Mets." It says "Going Down in Flames, 2017." <laughs> well, that's why I put a sticker over it. <laughs> hey man, it's all about Jeter this weekend, man. Oh, you God. know, it's all about Jeter. Everyone's getting gift baskets. Is the whole stadium getting get past? <laughs> you know that, that was. I, I, I saw that post. That was funny. <laughs> we should. We should all right. Don't you think? Is that what's yeah, happening? Yeah, I think everyone in New York should get a gift basket from Derek <laughs> well, Jeter. Even you, as a Mets fan, listen, I, I had to root for Derek Jeter in spots. As a as a as a uh, a guy who moved to New York, I mean, I, I I came from D.C. They took my Senators away twice in my lifetime. <laughs> when I moved to New York, I was like, oh shit. This is the best ever. Yeah, they Two can't, baseball teams. They can't take them away either. And then, well, nah, well that's not, yeah. But then I, I, I quickly ran into, I was like, they, they, I, I went to a bar to watch a game. Somebody said, hey, who, who are you, Mets or Yankees? And you had I that said, moment right there I was you had no, to decide? No, I was like, because I, I, was, I was like, I like them both. And the guy said, no. Get out. <laughs> this is New York City. You can't like them both. That don't fly. <laughs> Welcome to Adventures of Danny and Mike. To my right, Mr. Danny Tamborelli. You, Did you see that? I cut it right on the... say Adventures again? Adventures of Danny and Mike. I, it's always screwed up. Uh, to his right, Mr. Michael C. Morona. Hello, Looking Jared. very Jeremy. sleepy. And to his right, our guest for the entire, Mr. JP. Tear. What? <laughs> What's his last name now? I, I, Patterson. J. Patterson. 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 Thunderbolt Jeez. Patterson. Thunderbolt Patterson. Thunderbolt Patterson. How are Thunderbolt you? Thunderbolt Patterson. Which, which I'm, would I'm you like? To, which would you like, JP or Thunderbolt? Oh, you can call me uh, Earl or. No, <laughs> 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 I call him the kid sometimes. Yeah, That's the kid. Yeah. Oh, kids, kids, yeah. in, kids in the house. This yeah. guy, like I said, we could do three hours on him and I on the road. But that, all right, let's fun. do it. <laughs> for the, let's go. For the listener, for the listener, he's pointing at Dan Tamborelli. Yeah, yeah. 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 Danny oh, yeah, is yeah, no. one of never been on the one road. of. I mean, um, I'm a professional drummer, and Danny's one of my two favorite bass players. Hey now, wow. hey now, who are alive. <laughs> <laughs> That's no. Fair. My my third favorite bass player is dead. So. See, <laughs> see, I I knew that somehow. Uh, well, I'm, I'm glad to be on that list. Wait, who's the other one? It's Dean Rispler. That's okay, the man. I've, I've been he's my been my partner for ages. Nice. And now are we going to segue into when Danny and I was on the road? And <laughs> That's he, a good segue. <laughs> and he couldn't do some dates, and I brought my bass player in from ages, Dean. Right. And Dean couldn't handle the gig and uh, fucking and 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 uh, bailed. Wow! And so, so you have to be and, you and have to be to pragmatic get, to be involved with. Are we with going here now? Help. Because then I bailed. <laughs> we had to get a helicopter, <laughs> and then you did another tour with this gentleman. <laughs> It's true. I got out of the water and then I dipped my feet back in yep. just to get a taste. And I'll tell you exactly what the, the conversation that we had. <laughs> he called me and said, I'm going back on the road with Richard, with the guy. Now you can say it. <laughs> we, okay. We've said it several times. Or I haven't. He has. Okay. He's shit on Richard Lloyd a lot. He, so said we, he said, we got 17 shows. I said, the over under before oh, you yeah. come home is 10. Yeah. And he goes, Oh no no everything's great, with Richard. <laughs> with, with, everything's great. You made it what six shows? Uh, five, uh, five, five shows. Five. Not even. So half. I couldn't even if I had gone. If <laughs> I had did. gone. If I had gone with the boogies there. If I had gone the over under at five, I would have gotten a push. Right. Right. <laughs> wow. Uh, Cleveland, Ohio, know, ruined everything. We day. got this guy. And I, so man. what would fifty dollars have paid you on 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 over under of ten and a push? <laughs> 
Well, nobody took the bet. <laughs> but this guy would take it. He would. It's like, oh no, we're gonna play seventeen shows. <laughs> yeah, he's good. He's good now. Yeah, everything's and, fine. Uh, that's the exact tone fine, of voice. Man. That's the exact tone of voice he used when he convinced me to do the podcast. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> hey man, I'm just uh, uh, habitually optimistic. Well, <laughs> with a with a tinge of realism. <laughs> the glass is half Ooh. full, or the glass is fucking empty. Right? <laughs> or the glass has Xanax in it. <laughs> and, and Adderall and, and Nyquil and <laughs> just a bad attitude in general. Good, hey man. In the small amount of time that we did stuff with Richard, JP and I definitely we caught, we caught the whole we caught the whole spectrum of him in terms of like this is cool. This is a notch on our punk rock belt. Guy's a legend. This is, he's kind of weird, but we can, you know, whatever. JP and I, we get to hang out. This guy's throwing. Just like when we're on the road and we just get to hang out. This guy's throwing something in my head. This guy is throwing a Guitar World magazine in the backseat with an article about him and his last band being like, check it out. I forgot about that. Yeah. We're, 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 We're rolling down the highway in like Ohio. And it's he, always in Ohio. He right? throws a Guitar World magazine where that like the the the, the Guitar World um, reporter was embedded on the tour before us. Wow! When the bass player and the drummer <laughs> left the tour in the middle. Wow! Yeah. So this was they this, like got on a Greyhound bus and were like fuck this. So this reporter was you. a veteran at this point of several tours. Well, Danny was a veteran too. That's why I told him you ain't lasting ten gigs. <laughs> <laughs> So what did what did the article say? It, it, said it was just him going nuts. It was like him, like within the few days that he was on the road with them, that like he had. It's and it's foreshadowing for me because on that tour that I did with him at the very end, he did some of the things that were in this article <laughs> that we read about like four years <laughs> earlier. Like he was eating a fucking un- raw onion because his his voice was fucked up. I he was giving himself acupuncture in his face. Oh, I thought see that he watched a lot of Iron Chef. No, 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 Iron no, no. Chef. You know, he, he likes to, to watch the uh, uh, like the ana- like the the Surgeon Channel stuff. Like he yeah, the waiting room channel. No, 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 he no, like would, he would, no. What his whole thing was, he wanted to listen to the Iliad in the van. Oh, uh, <laughs> really? In the original Greek or what? <laughs> yes, he wanted to listen to it in Sanskrit. Actually. Oh God! Yeah, you know what? It's so noisy because you're all, yeah. you constantly. It's like the ching ching of the tiz, the chisel. The chisel yeah. always outweighs the sound. When Danny and I were in the back seat, just talking about shit like the Mets, the Yankees, just shit. He'd whip around and go, "Why are you guys talking about that stuff?" Fucking baseball, really? Oh yeah, no. He uh, was actually, if I remember it correctly, it was my endorsements. Yeah, we were talking. We were just talking about whatever just com- comes up in the back. We're talking about stuff. He's like, "Oh, I got these, you know, Vic Firth endorsement. Yeah, and you, I'm, you got I'm some very, drumsticks. Yeah. Well, I have all my. I'm, I'm very proud of, of my endorsements. Yeah. It really, it's really, it keeps me playing music. Right. We're gonna have yeah. we're gonna have a separate endorsement section at the end of the pod. So no, that's totally cool. I'll do, yeah. I'll do the entire NASCAR thing, man. Okay, <laughs> easy, easy, easy now. So. He so his head whips around a, a long skeletal finger extends towards you and says and he says I play music for that's what I do it's my profession I read books about science and you guys talking about your endorsements and your guitars and basses and, and that was right there it. in Ohio that he, Richard Lloyd turned into George C Scott I and, know I keep eight, I talk and, about George C Scott too JP and I use my George C Scott voice oh, as an no angry kidding. voice just uh, like Eric. Right, but I do that for Richard's voice. It's like, ah, oh, it's the same thing every time. <laughs> you fucking guys, I'm going to punch my people anywhere. I'm going to punch people. So so he reads books about science. Yeah, so that's he was calling no, us out for being losers. He listens to books about science. Oh, yeah. he listens to books on tape is what you're saying because he can't, his, his fingers shake too much to, to hold the pages. Oh, I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I said I, I it. I didn't say I'm that. I'm pretty sure I said it. Uh, yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll let you own that. <laughs> Jeremy, so you, you must you have. What, what, what can you do when you when your uh, world is invaded so, by it? So the article that he throws back is something that you guys had not experienced. This was years before? No, this, this was, was like we, no. this was when we first signed on to do any shows with Richard. Right. It was literally 10, 10 months before. Oh, wow. Yeah. And the same reporter. Yep. But he didn't go on the road with us. Right. No. He went out on the previous tour and then... 
Richard right. but he said it he said a, uh, I think you guys should take a look at this <laughs> and then like <laughs> threw it in the back seat and good. then got out of the car and like walked somewhere goes right at the whip it wasn't goes right in the whip no I think we were at a gas no, station no that was pretty good let me try mine uh, I think you guys should take a look at this <laughs> okay okay that's, that's pretty good <laughs> Jeremy Jeremy yeah. you ready I okay. think you guys should take a look at this <laughs> okay ready okay, you ready too. Uh, I just found the maid strangled with G-strings. I mean, guitar ones, not underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't that's, know who That's a provocative you guys, one. You guys are the judges. If you guys were on tour, you guys were on tour, right? Yeah, I, I didn't hear any of those stories coming out of the Comfort Inn. Well, here's the, here's the <laughs> like, like I said, the tour before, Dan, before Daniel and Danny and I were together. Daniel they had, leaving they had That was the article plane. tour. Yeah. The one after I was gone was the one that he had to bail after right. five gigs. Right. And right. I told you. I called it the helicopter yeah. tour because Dan took a helicopter home yeah. from there. I did, uh, yeah, I, I, You took a helicopter <laughs> home? What the fuck? No, I, you know what? I, I had to take the all of his gear and all the rental stuff, like the van, oh, I remember and drive that. it back. And, and I then he went back played, with. And then play a game of Billy. cat and mouse with a rock star, a sort of like. Okay, meet me at the storage yard, and then there would just be like a slip of paper that's no. like, "Aha, you missed me, sucker! No. Try me at another one." If you'd like to know the the real truth of the matter is that all that shit that went down, I ended up holding on to his like ten thousand dollar like nineteen fucking sixty one like real strat, his fucking amp that he recorded, you yeah, know, because all this stuff because on, cause I had all the- his gear, but him and his. You know his manager, uh, girlfriend, now now wife uh, at that point, weren't, didn't know what was going to happen. So she kept asking for it, and I was like, I don't want to give it to her because I can't. I don't want. I'm responsible for his gear. I have to wait till he gets out of wherever he's at to come back home and like. I have to wait until he defeats whatever demons he's struggling see, with. Well, like, I didn't want to be in possession of like over ten thousand dollars worth of stuff. Is like that goes from petty larceny to grand larceny. I didn't want to deal with like stealing anything. But in order to defray the cost of storage, while he was waiting to hear from Richard, Dan would charge people five bucks to look at it <laughs> <laughs> well yeah he used to hey charge man. people five bucks hey man to you want to come you want to yeah. come and check out richard lloyd's guitar yeah, it then was, he would it was them a, away. A, a du- i should have done that it yeah. was a dupro thunderbolt right <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah it's a really amazing amplifier thunderbolt <laughs> well we're, we're gonna tie that all in here it, ha- man. it, <laughs> it happens um well, and we can talk about. I mean, well, we're not. Why well, would we want to talk about you too? I want to. I want to know. Oh, it's I, so, I want to know some. You toured with you too. Yeah, he I was, did. Yeah, I did. Uh-huh. I was. I was um, the Edge's guitar uh, no. tech. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> like, he was just his guitar friend. He wasn't even a tech. He just. I told just him. Like, you hey, gotta, man, those are pretty good I told, guitars. I told the Edge, you got to get rid of these pedals, and I got fired. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you play something nice on that guitar yeah. without any effects? Yeah, you don't need. How about just a Marshall and Les Paul? Yeah, <laughs> just straight, just straight. <laughs> um. But well, yeah. I just know I know some little tidbits and facts about you, and like I thought, it's pretty crazy that you lived in Afghanistan for a good chunk of your I did. youth. I I lived in Afghanistan from the age of seven to eleven. My my time in Afghanistan was really cool. I mean, I mean, it was I it, it forced me to be literate. I had to read. There was no television. Um, that was crazy. It breaks my heart. I mean. I'd love to go back to Afghanistan. I never, I probably never will. But I grew up in Kabul. I grew up across the street from the Russian embassy in Kabul. That's wow. crazy. Um, and <laughs> there was a gigantic poppy field right next to the Russian embassy. <laughs> <laughs> so did they sell poppy seed bagels, fresh ones, <laughs> fresh bagels? <laughs> Not so. <laughs> no, but. But the uh, the Russian cats used to go and and lay down in the field and just take a nap and they'd get a high. Really? Yeah. The cats. I had the cats. Yeah. The, all the cats from Russia. <laughs> Those are all the cats. <laughs> no, we, we, my dad got. You know, my dad wasn't wasn't. You know, he was just a a wonk in the AID Agency for International Development. Mm-hmm. But 
the Russian cats used to, oh, cats. Look at what am I saying? <laughs> he had friends in the Russian embassy who used to come over and drink bourbon because my dad had a lot of bourbon and Russians were only drinking vodka. Sounds like an extra treat. Oh well, yeah, drinking bourbon instead of vodka. Well, more Kab- flavor. Kabul was a funny place because, I mean, uh, Peshawar, Pakistan was only like. Um, 120 miles away, but it'd take you eight hours to get there because you had to go over the the Khyber Pass. Right. How did you guys get around? Oh, I when had you my, lived my in, bicycle. When you lived in in Kabul, that's what you did. You you biked everywhere. I biked everywhere, but we had we had cars and I mean that place before 1965 and same thing with Tehran, which I had been to. I mean, Kabul had street cars. In the in the in the in the you know late fifties early sixties, hmm. wow. when I left Kabul, if you if you if you know any, I mean if you've read um, the Kite Runner, have seen the movie, yeah, I've read the movie. All book. right, I left Kabul about right in the be- in the middle of that movie. Um, when I left Kabul, there was there were protests at the at the um, against the monarchy at the, at at the University of Kabul. That's when it started to turn. I asked my, "What's going on here?" I said, "They're, they're uh, unhappy with the with the monarchy." Hmm. I think it's cool that we never had a monarchy here. Yeah, yeah, no. here. <laughs> Wait a couple of years, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we got to build up to that. Yeah, are you kidding me? Are we going to get into that now? Well, I'm saying <laughs> we got with this, with this douchebag it, that we've lived with all it, these years. It doesn't mean that yeah. we haven't had an aristocracy, but we haven't had a monarchy. Quite. Quite. I guess we keep a lot of those um, ex-presidents alive with our money. Yeah, we they're the Secret Service forever. Great health care. Also. I mean, how much, how much did it cost the American taxpayers for George Bush Sr. to get, you know, strep throat again? I kept telling him he's got to stop eating those pickles. <laughs> it's the pickles. only time you get... <laughs> you're too old. You're too old to eat those pickles. The, the spice is... is He's got, you know, he's just got the GERD. And I know about the GERD because I've had it before. <laughs> now, <laughs> yes. So, yeah, I mean, who are we going to talk about? Something else that's less, <laughs> less <laughs> unpleasant. Yeah. <laughs> like like <laughs> rock debauchery. <laughs> yeah, rock debauchery is good. Oh, no, I mean, uh, well, you, well, rock debauchery. Have you been banned from any uh, states or territories, provinces or uh, prefectures? No, Par- have I'm you been banned from been, any parishes? I'm actually, or? I'm, I'm actually a pretty straight guy, man. I don't like. No trash in hotel rooms. No. Well. Well. <laughs> no, because that'll always come back to bite you. Yeah. Back in the day when, when like they could trash hotel rooms and your management just pick it up. Right. First of all, I don't have any energy on the road to trash <laughs> a hotel room. I just right. did. 19 yeah, yeah here, you were just here. We'll, yeah. we'll just go off through here we're segue 19 shows in 19 days wow now that all in I've, europe i yep because i can't make any money in the states anymore yeah i've heard I that just from, can't. from I, yeah. I mean i'll go out and i i can play some selective dates but i can't tour and make any money in right. the u.s um spain has always been great for us um like we just came off spain portugal um, tour and in and, and then in November the dictators NYC though we're going to lose our name for legal reasons um, <laughs> and we'll, we'll come back to that yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna go but we're gonna go to northern Europe in that's what we do we go twice a year to Europe yeah um, I would yeah I would yeah, say northern just... Europe for the warm months right that's smart no, we do it reverse. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's too cold to smash you just up go, man, yeah. Trumso Look, at Christmas. Old school, <laughs> old school punk rock sounds better when it's cold out anyway. When, but when this, your teeth are chattering. <laughs> but here's what's going on in Europe now. Like it used to always. Like I'm from Rhode Island. That I mean the 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 fire that killed a hundred people at the Great White Show. I know people who know people who know people who know people. Right. Rhode Island mm-hmm. is a small community, right? And my and now, like, I'm always looking for the exit in Europe. Oh, really? Yeah. Especially since we're yeah. not only talking about we played Paris four days after 
The Eagles they, of Death Metal show. Yep. Wow. And in fact, our show was canceled because it was like right in the same neighborhood and it was cordoned off. Right. And our promoter right. found another venue. Yeah. But that's what that's what I'm worried about. Uh, and not only just fires, but but now Europe is starting to get online with that. Right. So where they used to oversell our shows like crazy, now there's we had we had a show um, that was oversold. I get an email. Where I'm having lunch with my with my bro Dean Rispa that says we got a problem here. And I looked at him and said we either got to play two shows or we're canceled. And we had to play two. Because they sold too many tickets. Well, they sold the show where they used to think the capacity was and the, the fire this department, is like the airlines now right the, yeah the fire department came in and said no this is oversold oh wow and that never used to happen in europe wow. ever yeah. ever you used to pay off the fire department <laughs> <laughs> they just didn't care uh jeremy we should look for where the uh we should install an exit sign on yeah the, uh, yeah the, your, the, the our nearest exit is behind behind you, you. we'll be go to yeah the right well m the we'll easy be... thing is uh, to my left i have the bass amp and the, the guitar amp so that's where i'm going <laughs> straight behind those and we would hope that uh, that, that that the speakers would would take some of the blunt it sucks because that, that you know, when um, Dimebag died, I was, I think I was living here, but that's the same sort of idea. We're just nuts, just people, crazy people, crazy people doing crazy well, things over dumb shit. That thing about Dime was so, I mean, that guy jumped over a fence and that, that was, that was just. Oh, he snuck in, I guess, right? Yeah, that, I mean, yeah, that was, and I tried to actually talk to him because I've, I've had some contacts because um, I'm, I'm Pearl Drums. I've had some contacts with um, with you know Vinny. Yeah, with Vinny and I tried to talk to him about it. He just can't talk about it. No. Yeah. I just, I wanted to tell him his brother had been really, really, really friendly to me and I wanted to tell him and it just I get it. No. Yeah, it's a it's such a crazy, I don't know. It's just crazy that that's, especially with Paris and with I mean, that's been a long time ago, the Dimeback thing, but it's sort of the same. Well, I guess there's always crazy people everywhere, but... Right, well, but when you said the Great White Show, the Great White Show was an accident, right? Listen, mm, I think the no. Great show, great you, White Show was... There's no way. Yeah. Well, it was an accident, but that's the, the reason. The pyrotechnics were an accident. No, it was poor. It was, it was they, 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 they negligence. Should, yeah, there was negligence. They, they should not have been firing up that shit in, yeah. the, in that right. little tinder. Right. It's a tinderbox. Right. It was a tinderbox. Yeah. Maybe that's what happened to Shea Stadium. Uh, oh yeah, one of our burn? no, no, maybe but it's shut maybe, down. maybe they maybe they had fire code issues. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they did. That's That's, like did, you, did you ever play there? That there's a place in Brooklyn called uh, Shea Stadium. No, no, never. Um, I don't do Brooklyn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, you today for well, us. You're here now, JP. <laughs> no, well, I'm and here we now because it. I come out here for my bro. That's right. Thanks, for man. my Danny. Thank you, bro. For my Danny. Yeah. I mean, gonna... you look, you, Our you, Danny? you become, there you, go. you yeah. become very, I mean, we've all slept in the same hotel room. I mean, JP and I were bunkmates for, uh, for the two. I don't know if we wanted to. I mean, w w nobody necessarily wants to. Well, but... luckily, JP doesn't know what Jeremy's farts sound like. No, yeah. well, I know what Jer uh, JP's uh, snoring, snoring sounds yeah. like, man. <laughs> boy, oh boy, it's, 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 uh, <laughs> it's something. But it's, it's really nice to just be like, JP. Flip over, man. <laughs> Very easy, and he will. You know, it's nice. It's appreciative. Do you bring your? Do you that bring while your you're poking, sleeping, you're still. Do you bring your poking broom on tour with you to let him, <laughs> to let him know when to turn over? No, in I, my case, it was a bottle of empty water that oh, like throw yeah, while dude, sleeping my, like an asshole. Mike, Mike, it's the only kind. Water, it's the only kind you can get on the plane is the bottle of empty water. That's true. <clears throat> but that's yeah. And then I would just roll over and stop snoring. God. And then snore again, Tim. God, I well, hate it, you. if I go on my side, hopefully it stops, but sometimes it doesn't. Hey, what can you do? Yeah. You could think about the CPAP machine. That's or... why. <laughs> that's an no, 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 no. I think it'll be smart when uh, hotel rooms start offering CPAP machines. Mm -hmm. so, you don't, so you don't have to travel with yours. A bidet and a CPAP should be standard oh. soon. A bidet? And a CPAP. Well, I'm going to get a bidet whenever I go. I'm saying, CPAP. I'm cleaning, I'm, seen in the, I'm cleaning the top and mm -hmm. I'm breathing the... I'm cleaning the bottom and I'm breathing the top. What would a travel bidet? 
What would a travel bidet entail of? Probably a foot pump. Uh, it's a foot uh, pump. A foot. <laughs> <laughs> just, just got a hose, a hose like that a goes into the toilet, and it just. Yeah. You just it's a siphon. You got to start it with. No, that's that's got uh, oof, that's got rash written all over it, pal. Rash is an unwise. Oh yeah, you'd have to get the. Uh, you'd have to take the water from the tank. Not from the actual turlet. Oh, I'm, I was thinking you'd have like a, uh, you know those uh, upper decker, <laughs> those water. Ro- oh, there you it's go. Like, it's like oh, an yeah, upper you decker. Take the water you're out taking there. the water out of it. Have you? And no shit. Have you laid an upper decker on anyone? I ever? would never do that. I that have never just, been. That is just the fucking. I have foul never thing. been invited to anybody's house who I would like, do that to. Yeah. I've never like, and I've never. Yeah. Would, I've never been invited to like an enemy's house where I was like, yeah, this will be the way. No, nah, no. Nah, there's better things to do. So you were yeah. saying? No, I was. I was just gonna say. You know those water rockets that you stomp on and it sends this rocket into oh, the air. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, but in fact, bidet, 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 bidet. That's the travel bidet. That's the travel bidet. It <laughs> sounds like it. it. sounds like a travel enema. Is what it well, sounds yeah, like. It turns into that depends on your uh, how heavy of your foot. I don't, I don't the like trajectory. the direction of this conversation. Yeah, that's no, the trajectory. It's starting to. Um, my hemorrhoids are flaring up. <laughs> that's GERD. Really? That's GERD. <laughs> no, I don't. You're doing. I don't, have, I don't have any hemorrhoids. Did you know what? Yes. Yeah. No, she. No, I don't. No, have, no, I don't no, have hemorrhoids. No, they go away no. for the summer months. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Richard <laughs> Lloyd told me not to push too hard. Just wait till you sit on a. Don't frozen. ask me why he said that. I'm just, just saying. Just Richard wait. Lloyd told you. <laughs> Richard Lloyd told you. Shut your pie hole. No, he did say. Shut he your said, pie. "Ease, ease back, son. Ease back. Just let it happen organically, yeah, yeah. Danny." J- JP, we, uh, Jeremy and I once drove across the country and we stopped. In Knoxville, and I uh, home of the Vols, one of my favorite college towns, and that that bar Barley's Tap Room that we played, and I remember uh, that that was a night that we were playing a song, and Richard wasn't sure what was going on, and you and I were together, and we went to the change, we went to the chorus without him, and he stopped the show in front of like a packed house and ripped you guys, completely ripped us. So I was like, yo, I. Follow the singer. You're, I'm not gonna go and you're, we're gonna That's do it again. Good. I worked. I worked with Stanley Kubrick. You fucking hacks. That's what. That's, that's what you. That's what you say. Yeah, but I mean, to to be fair, two to thirds fair, are right, one third is wrong. No, let's sign, bro. Let's just keep this about Richard all night long. Remember when we were? I'll tell you when we were. We're driving. And I could feel him melting down. Mm-hmm. I was like, we got to stop. And I'm telling um, our road manager. Yes. Boo, boo, yes. Boo, boo, and, and for the listener, quotes, for the quotes, listener our road manager, <laughs> I said, we got to stop now. And we pulled into two motels that were not acceptable. <laughs> and then we found one that was. That's right. Because he was melting the fuck down. No, oh, I think that was we had stopped in like Indianapolis or something. It's the yeah. only time I've ever eaten a Quiznos. It was actually a very nice hotel. It was we like went a to brand Quiznos. new. Yeah. You and I went to Why Quiznos. Why do I remember weird was, shit like that? It's because the was, only time I've ever been to one. Quiznos because opened up a, a hotel? No, there was a Quiznos <laughs> and a liquor store next yeah. door, and we hit both of yeah. them. Yeah. D- d- actually, yeah, we did a fair amount of 30 rat crushing. That was a lot of that was a lot of thirty rat crushing, if I remember correctly. It was just like, what are we gonna do after the show? Let's just crank some beers. Do you have like it's a, a Homer Simpson in the It's a Homer Simpson. Except Except say, do you have a, me- a mechanism with you crank the beers with that dumps them into your mouth no, or no. something like what that? What you do no. is you get the mechanism of it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you were on Nickelodeon. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does JP was definitely witness to a few. A few of those. Did you? Did you do any planted? Did you do any planted? When I met this guy, I had no idea who was Lil yeah. Pete. <laughs> Somebody told me. I was like, "What the? What the fuck is that?" Yeah, this you guy's did. a good like, bass player. I'm just playing with it. Yeah, I'm just here to play bass, Mister. <laughs> so that tour was fun. Uh, there was nothing bad time. happened. Nothing really bad happened. The Nobody, only thing that was bad was when that died. guy yelled. When he yelled at us, and his. Because Richard Lloyd has a fake front tooth, in case anybody wants to know. Spoiler alert, he wears a flipper, and he was yelling, and the tooth was hanging down, and it was like shaking as he was yelling at me, (laughs) and I'm like trying so hard not to laugh right in his face. But I was just like, don't look at it. Just don't look. I can't stop looking at it. Like It's just like, I read books about science. It's just going nuts. 
Good God, Lemon. Oh, God. Remember when we played, was it Nashville? When there was literally, there was three people in the building and two of them were the opening act, and I played a double no, bass. No, that was, that was Kansas City I, at the record bar. I played a double bass kit yeah. with no toms. Yeah. And I was looking at you winking, going <laughs> like, I'm going to throw some double bass shit in here that I don't even know how to play. And we yeah. were just like... <laughs> That's the thing, too. We didn't, on that on all those tours, and I, we do it with Jounce, too, and when we go out we to the West... We didn't rehearse? No, when we go to the West Coast or something, we don't bring all our gear. We just get a, a local band that we play with, and we share gear with them so we don't have to lug all our stuff. The, the, the bad thing about that is you'll get to places double, and double they'll bass. be like, hey, man, we're just a duo with a double bass drum and one cymbal and like oh shit <laughs> yeah nobody's here not a yeah there was literally i was oof man i was gunning butts yeah i was smoking oh, cigarettes with you man <laughs> you're being comforted <laughs> it's not as bad as when you were picking up cigarette butts from the ground oh, was boy. it it no, was not as no. bad as we explored that. that in the last podcast no. yeah you know what? When you're a little kid, you do fucked up shit like that. I'm fine with that. I don't know if anyone I didn't was do a grossed fucked out. Up shit like that when I was a kid. Well, you didn't. Yeah. You didn't pick cigarette butts off the ground and smoke no. them. No, start smoking until I was 23. <laughs> See, <man. laughs> well, I'm he, sorry. He was doing good stuff like riding his bike through the streets of Kabul. No, yeah. I was smoking pot. <laughs> <laughs> I was smoking cigarettes. Yeah, pot hit I me also one year rode later. donkeys on the streets of Kabul. Donkeys? Really? Hey, man. Hey, we're going to go. I lived in Rwanda and Zambia as well, too. Yeah. If you want to go to the next half. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let's do it. Let's, what else let's have, go on an international. What else have you written? This is an, an international an, adventure an, with an, J.P. An, Patterson. An, 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 an international flight? What about it? No, when I lived in, in Rwanda, it was when they weren't killing each other. It was between genocides. So I'm sensing a <laughs> pattern here. Do you go to places and then leave and then they just start go like stuff no. starts happening? Or like, I is, are you, I are we figuring something out right now? I chill everybody out. And then when I leave, it goes fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, yeah. I'm a, 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 a chilling influence. You need, to, you need to be an ambassador to the world. We have to get J.P. Patterson into every country to yeah. chill them all out. Heal, oh, heal chill the world. Chill the fuck out. Heal the world, J.P. You could with Why your not? drums. <laughs> with my drums? Yeah. JP's one of the loudest drummers I've ever played with in my life. Oh, I love everything. One like of? Okay, he is the yeah, loudest drummer I've ever I played with. I, I definitely have some hearing loss. Who said that? To you. Who said that? It was the ghost God? Of the ghost of John Bonham? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bonham wasn't as loud. No, nah, he doesn't play loud. Not even close. What? He doesn't play, <laughs> period. <laughs> Bonham was a big guy who <laughs> beat it. through the drums. Yeah. My approach to playing drums is Bruce Lee. It's true. You, you should quit. see this. You should see this guy's where where his symbols hang. If I could put them down here, I would. For the listener, um, JP looks like he's riding a chopper with monkey <laughs> bars right now. Monkey <laughs> hangers <laughs> for the height of his uh, for the height of his symbols. True. Or a perfect Star Wars spaceship, I guess. Oh no, no, you're right. Low rider, or what is that called? Easy a rider. Um, a, a chopper. Jeremy. Chopper. Jeremy is the I only believe, member. I believe Michael just said the word chopper not uh, thirty could, seconds ago. You I'm couldn't not, get me on a motorcycle. Really? <laughs> I didn't have a fuck. No, I grew up. I'm four riding. wheels, man. Yeah. Do you, do yeah, you like think wheel that? Wheels. Yeah, you, he's a, you. You've done some. Uh, you taking some driving classes, right? Being do, a little pro. I'm, I'm a huge the apex I'm, hitting the apex. Well, I, I went to race driving school and found out very really? quickly that I sucked at it. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I don't still love it. You know. Yeah. How many cones did you fail? No, I did. I did okay at Skip Barber. Um, I didn't. I didn't fail. What I did was in a lapping day. I planted the car in a, in a, a left hill up, up uphill. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it get boring just constantly making lefts? Well, that's not sports car racing, bro. Oh, you were doing courses. You were racing courses, not yeah. I'm a not, sports car racer, not I'm tracks. Hmm. No, 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 no. There's what are you talking about? Like going an oval track is this? Yeah. Then I was doing sports car racing. I don't know. Yeah. You for the listener, JP was moving his hand in a different way. This like way. a fish. Yes, this like way. A, 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 like a, fish. a snake almost. With with tracks that go left and right and then left and mm. right and then maybe left and left. He's moving his hand like old Montauk Highway. <laughs> oh. Out on the eastern end of the Long old, Island. The old Montauk Highway is amazing. Oh, I make it a point to 
drive that road whenever we'll I try You know what you should do is turn your lights out and man. drive it. No, I don't want to turn my lights turn out. Turn your headlights it. out and drive it, That's dude. a scary thing. You, you will do. poop your pants. I will not do that. Do it. I don't and think then, that's a safe thing to do. Oh, I, so I, I prefer to do other and then dumb, your stomach, things your stomach drops that out don't, from... That don't uh, add up to that level of uh, dumbness. Your stomach and drops turning, out. Turning when, your lights off on a dark road. Well, obviously, if anybody else was there, they'd have their lights on. There's a term for that. What's the term? What do you call suicidal? it? Suicidal. Yeah, it's dumbass. <laughs> dumbass. Yeah. Conform- conformity. Uh, Trump apologist. Well, I've I've hung out of a Triumph Spitfire with a flashlight because the whole lights went out before. So. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you get down the road, man. That's right. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> wow. For the listener, we do not recommend this stuff. No. Yeah, no. Leave your life. For the listener, you, you might have some fun. <laughs> 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 uh, I remember as a kid, uh, just I would don't watch, pull a Randy Rhodes. I don't think this is the same thing as the the racing you're talking about, but the, I would watch on Saturdays. Sometimes they would take an entire arena. And I, I'm sure there was fans there somewhere, but most of it was hollowed out. And they would fill it with that expanding foam. <laughs> no, I know what you're talking about. They would have jumps that would go up to like the second level and go through the stadium. And then come back out another end, and it was like, it was right, like, that's two a, like what is that's that? Like, like autocross or whatever. They, oh, okay. That's not racing. Oh, that's okay. bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought. Well, <laughs> I thought <laughs> we just lost the uh, auto track people. <laughs> I just thought it was cool because it would like go up. Oh, no, it's very the cool. Stadium and in and, fact, like, now dirt, that's that's dirt. what what I mean. The kids like to see that kind of. Well, thing. that's there yeah, now. Does yeah. that still exist? Do kids still go to like arenas for like monster truck shows and all that uh, stuff? Is that still uh, happening? Uh, we've lost everybody, so we better move on. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when you're touring, so when so you're touring, grave digger, right? When you're touring in Europe, you get a lot of team handball handball games. In do you go see a lot well, of team actually, handball? In that's Europe? funny that you should mention that because. Um, the television that I have to watch in my hotel room is all team handball and soccer, <laughs> or as they like to call it, football. I would, I would like that. I would. Is, I there's, would a dis- real, there's a real thing for for Spanish handball. No team handball. Team handball. It's not, what is, no, Spani- it's what on, is it's Spanish? On, what is Spanish handball? It's on, it's on, no, it's Spain. on. No, it's on Eurosport. What happens in Europe when if you're lucky in your hotel, you'll get CNN and and MSNBC. If you're not, you just get uh, whatever's, and then it's always Eurosport. You get Fox News. No, you won't get Fox no. News. You'll get mm-hmm. Eurosport, and that will be inevitably will be team handball, football, right. or team handball. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Team handball is wonderful. It's free. It love is free. I don't know. The only time I ever played handball was in gym class because they made me. Well, you it's you play against a wall. This is team handball, like you're trying to score like play, a hockey goal. You didn't no, play. I know. You didn't play you, handball you take a couple your... steps when you have a ball and you throw it to your buddy and you try to get it through the net and there's a goalie. It's, and you were punished. It's what just happened? like a, no. I'm what just happened? saying. We no, are killing I'm, this. Audience. I'm just saying. You know. Yeah. Well, look, our audience likes to hear all sorts of stuff, and I feel like there's a couple team handball fans out here. And if you are, you make sure you send us a message yeah, to tell us, make your tell voice us how we're doing a great job spreading the word of Team Handball. <laughs> make your voice heard. <laughs> it, was, it was a thing in Europe for the soccer stadium and the Team Handball arena to be quite close to each other. Because you could also play basketball in the same, in the same well, court, of court can, size. Right. Yeah. So usually those things were a sports complex. There's, mm. K, there's K's in there. Yeah, mm. since if you got the, the handball... Yeah. We just lost Germany. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, we've lost a lot of people in this I, podcast. Yeah, I started keeping track of several episodes ago. And then oh, I'm we're going to bring them back now. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're going to talk about all those chicks. Little Pete oh, who hey, came up to you on the road. Talk about ah! that. All right. Was that in That's, uh, was that in that's the, letting the audience know that, you know, I was uh, kind of doing okay with the ladies, you know? Yeah. In, yeah. in, in Indianapolis. Well, that, that's in, in Indianapolis. <laughs> and I'd like to I'd like to I'd like to, I'd like to, to congratulate you oh, on your thank you, engagement. Man. Thank you very I'm much. I'm so happy JP. for you. You know Appreciate I love that. you to death. Bro. I know. I know. We, yeah. we got this is a But if he died it's a, it's a nice hang. And for the listener, it's a good hang with JP. It's always. a quality hang. He is a cool hang. <laughs> He's a good hang. And he's a good and uh, a, a very good on the road partner. Well, yeah, when we had to go run away and hide, <laughs> when when fifty percent of yeah. the when fifty percent of the other half of the group, I don't well, think you mean partner as much as 
willing accomplice to escape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Hutch, look, look, I can get on the ground. He can jump over the fence, and then I, you know, then I, I can. Then he follow. lifts up the bottom of the fence, and right, you, you it's, struggle it's, underneath. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. And I get poked a little bit in the ow, back. Ow, just a no, little. it's more ow. like. Danny, get the fuck out of the van, get to the hotel room, and let's hide. <laughs> wow. Okay, Richard, see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stuck. Stuck. Uh, do not disturb. <laughs> Stockholm uh, Syndrome tour. Uh, we went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. In Cleveland? In Cleveland with, with Richard. Did you and, go to Tony uh, Paco's? Th- no, we didn't go. Oh, well, this is actually this is about actually some of the better stories. Yeah, I mean so, that's like that's a it's a very cool thing to be walking through uh the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and you get to that section with Ty Cobb. Well, they get you get to that like New York like punk rock section and it's like, well, I'm hanging with JP and like there's all the dictator stuff and like there's Marky Moon hanging there and there's Richard Lloyd and that was like kind of a surreal experience being like these two dudes have stuff like hanging in this hall of fame what the hell am i doing here wow and i cried myself to sleep that night <laughs> but to the chant of little the, p. to the chant of little p <laughs> it's the end of that story so we had told the rock and roll hall of fame had like a, a representative meet us that was going to give us like a tour right around. an emissary there we go Good word. <laughs> Emissary. I like that. Let me, hold on. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> and then and Richard got bored. Yeah. And so, and we, and we, like, half, like, not even halfway, like, like a quarter of the way through the tour, Richard was like, why don't get out of there? He wanted to look at science books. And so, no, so we, we had to tell the guy, okay, he has got to go. And, and, and so we left. Wow. Now, yeah, so there we was had a, a great, great. An amazing uh, experience, and we just had an okay one. Do you think there's like secret display, you know, like things that they'll only show, like. Yeah, like this is Elvis Presley's last guitar pick. No, it was like, <laughs> Richard, just look around and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but we also had another, that London trip, we got to see Jimi Hendrix's apartment oh, yeah. before it was open. It's now open to the public. Oh, oh really? Yeah. It's, yeah, uh, it's, yeah, they, they opened it. But when we saw it, when Danny and I were there, I'll post pictures. I have, I have a bunch it of was, pictures of it. It was an it's office. It's also, uh, um, um, Mend- uh, yeah, Mendelssohn. Mendel's house. It was, right, Mendelssohn lived there, and then later Felix, on, Felix Mendelssohn, who wrote the, uh, uh, no, George Mendel was the. It was a Mendel. No, he wrote the. the, the yeah, he's a famous yeah. composer. So here we are. Here we are, like uh, rock punk rock guys who don't know anything about. Like these are, they were like these very like uh, sharp, narrow staircases that went up to this flat, and there was like a a big, uh, just like open space where a bunch of glass should have been, like a big glass, like whatever. And and the the woman said that uh, during a drunken instance at the apartment, it was the Chris, bass player from. No, it was Chris oh, Wood. Chris Wood from Traffic, right. yeah, the drummer from Traffic. Went, went, no, he was the, the Chris Wood was the sax player. He went right down through the window. Oh right, yeah, yeah. So that's what we were working with, guys. No, it was the highs hand- and lows. Hold on, uh, it's the Handel House. Yeah, Handel. Who, George who, Handel. Who, who, he yeah. wrote Handel. the Messiah. Handel. Right. Handel. Right. Gotcha. Handel. Nah, we're not Americans. Mendel. We're Americans. We can say Handel. Um, <laughs> but but Handel lived there when he wrote the Messiah, and then later on, later much later, Hendrix lived upstairs. This when is he Cle- wrote the Meshuggah. This is Cleveland. No, no, this is London. London. Oh, London. Yeah. Okay, I thought and we were talking about Hall of Fame. Jesus. Yeah, I thought I've, it was. Yeah, because but then he Hondo said lived- flat, so I knew we were mm-hmm. in, in Europe. Oh he yeah, said but, flat mm. before. But they that that has been a museum for handel for ages right and they just they had just for, for handel for handel for handel or or, or maybe mandel maybe <laughs> howie mandel oh yeah <laughs> that's probably good yeah good right? he's written yeah. uh-huh. he's written it or, now yeah or maybe a candle maybe it was a candle <laughs> can't hold a candle to it mandel. was you know what it was the uh it was the yankee candle company that relocated to london brussels hmm. but hendrix lived in the flat upstairs and that was the the office when yeah, when Danny we were and I there. were there, right. it was the office for the the Handel Museum, uh, okay. and then now they've opened it up, and it's 
Now you can actually get up there into Hendrix's apartment. And is, do they have like uh, uh, memorabilia? And, and does it look like it was when he was there, or is it just? It, like, it probably does oh, now. Okay. But it wasn't, when yeah. we were there, it was an office, right? And right. The, but they had an exhibit. They had they had an exhibit oh. in the museum downstairs. Yeah. That was right. that was like a, that was all Hendrix in stuff that image. had like the death autopsy report and all that shit in there. Well, it right. turns out it was bad vibes, right? <laughs> in the actual apartment. It was an office, uh-huh. and the woman they had, but they had pictures up going like, "Well, you can see like where my desk is. <laughs> that where Jimmy's be- see bed the, was. See that wow. crown molding there? Yeah. That's the same crown molding in this picture with his bed here. And wow. they had the amplifiers in the room next door when they were rehearsing. Wow, that was oh yeah, cool. they played yeah they they practiced. We had, that there. was a good trip for us, except when somebody was looking for drugs on the side. Um. um <laughs> Um, that was a good trip for us. We had, we you, had some, you know you've overstayed your welcome when we had some strongies. Yeah, we had some strongbows. What was a oh we <laughs> we uh, we found that uh, that great bar. There's a great bar called the Three Tons. The Three Tonies. Yeah, that's where we went every night afterwards. Yep. So that was our that was our bar. So the detox bar. Big big ups to that bar. Kind of a re- um, retox bar. It's a retox bar for sure. Retox. The three tons. The three tons. And then it closed early one day, and we went to a, a bar that turned out to be a gay bar, and uh, we hung out. And, and we, it wasn't we, a big deal. We got along just fine. <laughs> 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 it was <laughs> nobody. Nobody made you be gay. Imagine. No, that. isn't that crazy? Yeah, no, take, everyone was so scared. Take that homosexual lobby. <laughs> take that. No one. No one twisted anybody's arm. Yeah, well, that's pretty good. Uh, Mike just patted Danny on the back. Mm. The job well done. Not, not for the first. Story. Not for the first time. <laughs> little, first, he patted the, me on the back. He's touched me a few back. times. Today. I know. I've seen that. You got you, some. You, got you some, guys got something going on over you, there. You got some plugs, yeah. JP. Uh, you must have a whole section of plugs now. Oh well, uh, yeah, let's you? give you. Yeah, plug whatever you want to plug, man. What this am I is your plug. Well, you should go listen to the you, dictators. Yep, go. Uh, you d- listen, you don't oh, have to coach him oh, through oh, the plugs. On, he can on, plug his on, own hold plugs. On. Let's can we can we get a little can we get a little bit of uh, um, what's going on with uh, dictators NYC and not being able to be. Can we talk about that at all? Yeah. Well, yeah, we can. But there's it. it um, it's all up in the air. About so just whether, even we, using we've the been, name. I mean, half of the. There's four original dictators who are still <laughs> alive right. and dictators. Right. Two of them are suing the other two. Right. The question is whether we'll be able to use the dictator name. Um, who knows? Mm. Um, have 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 you guys gone uh, and thought about other names that you could yeah, possibly like, well, yeah, use? Inter- I mean, international dictators or dictators, <laughs> dictators no, we, supreme, dictators well, worldwide. Right, no, exactly. For, we've been playing for the last four years as dictators NYC, and that's been the, the that's not going to work either. Right. Well, what about like dictator drop zone or dictator defense can't be, defense dic- organization? Dictators can't be in the name. Period. Right. Okay, okay. Yeah. What about? Hear me out. Penis potato local. P- what about what P-L? about peanut penis potato local, not not dictators NYC but penis potato local. <laughs> well, I don't, I'll I don't certainly think it's... I'll certainly put you in touch with <laughs> with my booking agents about that. Okay, we'll see you, if they you, can you they can they can sell that. Your booking uh, agent is not a, is not a rock with a piece of paper wrapped around it thrown through my window, is it? Uh, eh. no, no, probably not. Good, eh. but you never know. No, <laughs> no. Um, this is uh, not the penis potato way. No, no. Well, that's that's unfortunate. Well, I would, I, 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 personally, I would like us to go to Manitoba's Wild Kingdom since we have a record out as that. We have guys who are in the band we're in Manitoba's Wild Kingdom. Manitoba's Wild Kingdom sold more records than the Dictators ever did. <laughs> um, ever, 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 yeah, ever, ever yeah, did. Yeah. But the Dictators, it's a, it's I mean, a legendary a, name. A it's a legendary name. name. It was four yeah. errors for the name, listener. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Um, and we might go out as, as MWK. We might go out as just as Manitoba. Hmm. Right now, they're, they're you know we're going out. We're going back to Europe in November. If as if still as be. the dictators. Oh no! Nope. When they go to Europe, when they go to Europe, something else. No, by the time nope. you get we're to Europe, yep. when they go to Europe, it's Penis Potato Limited. Oh boy! Jeez. Yep, I this would guy. say jeez. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I've known him since I was seven. So, 
My condolence. <laughs> <laughs> has it been that long? You are long? not the first or last person to say that. <laughs> has, it been, has it been that long? It has been that long. Well, JP, friend. thanks for hanging out, and I'm sorry man, I uh, I'm so happy to blocked be, you at to the be door. Here, man. I didn't, didn't mean to do that. I was. Nah, I was what did uh, you do? Caught Everybody up. blocks me at the door, bro. That's my thing. No, oh, I, did you? Yeah. I was just like, I, <laughs> he's like, who, who are you here to see? No, no, I just said honestly. I was at first. I was like, oh, what? Am, I didn't had a frick toy. I didn't I order forgot. something. <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You're People from the, who live uh, in basement apartments with doors on the street are probably a, a little meeting, bit more meeting uh, strangers. You got sunlight? I mean, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Plants not dying yet. Look at know. him. <laughs> yeah, what's not di- what's not dying? The plants are him. For the listener, <laughs> either he, he, he looks like Gomez Adams. For the listener, Jeremy Today? is starting to resemble a pale wow imitation wow. of himself. That's all. Inside and out, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the party's over. You've got to have some plugs, JP. Give us some plugs. Oh, you were maybe yeah, give you my endorsement. Yeah, you okay, go for it. Go Pearl through. drums, Savian cymbals, um, Promark uh, drumsticks. Um, what I miss? Evans heads. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, oh, Latin percussion. That's all my all Come my on, stuff. Nice. And I'm so oh here I go. I couldn't do my what I do without these companies who support me, and that's my that's my NASCAR moment. Hey man, I just want to thank Pearl Drum <laughs> for this win, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> that's my NASCAR moment. Jeremy, you, you have any drink milk, you have any though, plugs? Though? You drink. You drink uh... Are you playing with the sick fucks at all anytime soon? Are you still doing? Yeah, that? you may be too. So you better keep it. Oh uh, yeah, answer with my the, answer with my the sick fucks. I think I got three coming up, and I'll I'll call you. <laughs> All right, I'm always down. I'm, I'm they're great. Jeremy, no, do I you can... have any uh, thunder thunder dates coming up or anything? No, we have none. Uh, we, no, no, they no, have no, a no, band called uh, Thunder Thunder. They're, no, they're... it's not really. It's more of a. It's more of a. It exists as a concept. Yeah, we're working on the band art right now. We're they're really not working stuck. on songs, but they're working on the artwork for the album. We well, we know, just you, right. well, we got to draw in the fans with the band art, and then they'll yeah, listen. Priority. Then they'll listen to the songs. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dan and JP have played in a band together, so maybe we could double date sometime. True. Dan, do you hey, have some plugs? We forgot yeah. to tell about the time that I sat in with you oh, and yeah. I destroyed the drum set in twenty seconds. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, we did it. That was the last time you were probably in Brooklyn too, wasn't yep. it? Yep. Oh man. Yeah, we did a we did a, a show for our buddy Mike Greenhouse, who's the editor of Relics Magazine, and he had. What a, did we play? Spirit in the Sky. No, we played. Uh, 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 Layla. No, Dragging the Line. Yeah. Oh, in the first back. first twenty yeah, you, seconds, yeah, you the <laughs> whole drum set collapsed. Wow. It was like a Keith Moon oh, moment. Oh, like, that's boom. so funny. Yeah, the whole drum set went. Boom. But but really like, nice. The guy who was playing drums in the the song beforehand came right up and drum tech to you real quick. That was wonderful. You were right right back wonderful. in the, right back into the swing. Crushed it all the way out. It was wonderful. Could you destroy uh, like a, a kid's drum set if if you had to? I, ju- I destroyed it. I mean, that's a, 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 yeah, I guess that's a regular set. size. Yeah, so that's I hit a, that's I just a stupid wanna, question. Well, it's not stupid. I want to see it. Because that's a ridiculous question. That's a ridiculous question. You're a ridiculous person. I'm not going to answer it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, says the guy who made up and, and penis. In on, on that note. Potato. Uh, limited. Uh, limited. Yeah. In Europe. In yeah. Europe. Go get a go find Thunderbolt Patterson's uh, solo stuff, Thunder Boss, and go get a go get his uh, Christmas jingle that he wrote a couple of years ago that I still play around Christmas what? time. Cold for Christmas, yeah, man. Cold for Christmas <laughs> is a good one. That's thank, a good one. Thank you for JP Thunderbolt Patterson who has been sitting in with us today and some very cool stories. Thanks, thank man. you guys. I appreciate. It. The Adventures of Danny and Mike stars Danny Tamborelli and Michael C. Marona. The show is produced by Jeremy Bailey. The podcast is part of the Feral Audio Podcasting Collective and can be found on their website at feralaudio.com. For more information on the guys, visit our website at dannyandmike.com. Also, look us up on Twitter at Danny and Mike with the N spelled out and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the adventures of Danny and Mike. Thanks for listening. <laughs>